Hey guys, it's the One Muckets here, and today I'm going to be showing you a glitch how to get on Spawn Island only on Playground Mode. So first off, what you want to do, you want to go over here at the end of Flush. Um, also, by the way, reminder, you can go anywhere on the map. So what you well, uh, to get loot, and then come to Flush Factory. So what you need to do, respawn. And all you, all of you, obviously know that you cannot go on the spawn island because there's a huge, I guess, square barrier, or it's an invisible wall barrier that we cannot see, but we cannot go. So those out of texture islands that I'm floating towards is what we're going to be working with. So first, respawn as we did at the Flush Factory. Then just glide over um to the islands. This might take like two minutes to two and a half minutes. So just bear with it. I know um it's a little bit boring, but once you get on it, it's gonna be worth it. So it doesn't matter if you die from the water or just simply respawn. Dying from the water is a little faster, but you can do what you want. Um so as you can see, everyone knows that you cannot go on spawn island without a barrier. There's some invisible walls. There's been many glitches. How to get there on solo and everything. And, um. But you've always had to die from the storm. And recently, I don't know what's been happening with my playground matches at least, but they've been bugging out and it's not showing. The storm is not activating until the actual last seconds of the game. I don't, I don't know if that's happening for you guys or whatever. But on Xbox, or for or at least me, it's just bugging out. And in the last few seconds of the game, that's when the storm comes. Not, there's no reminder. It's just the four minutes where the storm usually closes in. That is just, it's just a circle. It just stays a circle until the last few seconds of the game. The storm kicks in immediately. So therefore, there's no storm at Spawn Island anymore. Which means it is safe to go through. Um, so basically, <coughs> we keep on floating over and over. Sorry if my voice sounds a little raspy or I cough a little bit. It's because I'm kind of a little... I'm a little bit sick. And uh, my throat is a little sore. So just bear with me. Pardon me. So we're getting closer. You can see a lot of... You can see a waterway to the left. A lot of greens. Mostly mountains and hills. Because obviously we have to remember. It's an out of texture island. Which means it doesn't have any buildings or anything. It's not supposed to have anything. Except for these little sh designs. Such as waterway, the green. Okay. Now, once you die immediately without touching the water or anything, you know that the glitch has worked. If your shield goes from 100 to 0, you know it's worked. So there's two countdowns. That's how you know. And boom, we're here. So, now you can basically do anything that you want on this island. That's why I said, before you come to this island, you want to loot up um, at like a, um, at like a, like a, you know, tilted towers or anything. Just loot up somewhere, and then come to spawn island, because... Ammo is an issue around here. Okay. You can also find different rar rarities of dual pistols. Which is weird because dual pistols I never find. I don't know about you guys, but I, I never find them in Playground anymore. I can't get them out of chests. I can't get them out of floor loop. Um, I know that they've been taken out of the game um, in Solo. So they're pretty hard to come across in Playground. I think so. I, I don't know if you can get them out of vending machines. I don't know. But um, if you do wants dual pistols then this is the place to come there's at least one pair always on the island purple and blue i think there's yeah there's usually one pair so you want dual pistols um just come to this island so i know it's a timely process just to get dual pistols but um it'll be worth it in the end i guess um but from now on i'm just gonna be narrating us fighting so there'll be a timestamp on the screen right now if you want to go to the end of the video and um See how to get off Spawn Island because this will be the end of the video will feature how to get off Spawn Island because you need to you need to be able to get off if you want to at least. If you want to space stay on Spawn Island the whole game, that's okay too. But if you want to get off, it'll be there'll be a timestamp um right now or before actually I might put in the video before or not right now. But there, there's gonna be a timestamp and you can go to that timestamp and um yeah just skip to that part of the video. Now this glitch I came across very I guess you could say randomly. So me and my friends were basically doing a playground match. And we were, we were fighting in Tilted Towers. So I don't even know how this happened. But it just did. So I was AFK because I went to eat my dinner. And 
they were obviously killing me because they wanted kills, you know, it's a normal thing. So, um, I think they killed me a lot, too much, and I think the game glitched out completely, and it spawned me on Spawn Island for some reason. I don't know how, my friend even texted me while I was eating dinner, and he said that I'm on Spawn Island, I was like, um, yeah, okay, sure. And then I come back, and I look down, I look down, I'm in this little slope. Um, and I look up, and I'm at Spawn Island. All I saw was green, and then I looked up, Spawn Island. Pretty amazed. Um, yeah, it was a really weird way of discovering this. And we, me and my friends, we actually tried, like, a glitch where we obviously went out, um, to the Out of Texture Islands, because we found that it's pretty weird that I would just spawn randomly at Spawn Island when we were in Tilted Towers from just killing each other. So, we wondered... If we went actually closer to Spawn Island, and we respawned more and more, do you think we would get on? And, out of coincidence, we spawn- we floated towards the Out of Texture Islands as a reference direction, and, um, we just went closer and closer, and we respawned, we were like, what the heck is happening? And then, uh, obviously we spawned on Spawn Island, as I did before. So, it's a pretty crazy story, if you ask me. I know that there's a different method to somehow do this on challenge games, I don't know that method, I'll save that for another day, maybe if you guys like this video. Yeah, if you like this video, subscribe to my channel, like the video, share this with your video with your friends to get it more publicly. Even though this video, um, this glitch might get patched, so I'm not sure. But if this glitch does get patched, I'm very sorry. Um, I cannot do anything about that. But, um, enjoy this. If you see this video early, enjoy it while you can. Um, notification squad, shout out to you. Maybe I, I should start doing notification gang shoutouts. <coughs> Maybe. But as you can see, I'm just gonna be narrating and fighting from now on. I don't have any more crazy stories to tell. But obviously, if you skipped, uh, actually never mind. I was gonna say if you skipped to the time step, you wouldn't be listening about that crazy story. You know what I'm saying? But um, and uh, I know I'm a little bad at building because I play on Combat Pro. And there's no way I'm switching to Builder Pro. There's no way I'm switching to Builder Pro because I know I'm gonna be doo doo at it. So, um, just bear with me. I know I'm not Combat Pro and I'm a little bad at building. Um, but yeah. Okay. Be dang. Yeah, so you can break. I should have mentioned this before in the video, but you can break actually the main battle bus that actually takes you to the island. The one in the middle with all the honky noises on the all oh, the V Buck symbol and everything. So, if you break that, nothing happens. Because you're not supposed to break it normally in the lobby, so the game thinks that, you know, the game thinks that you're that's still there, so it's honks. Okay, how to get off Spawn Island. Respawn, first step. Then switch teams immediately after you respawn. You have to be at the barrier for this to work. So, then respawn, switch teams, switch teams again. So, respawn, switch teams, switch team. You should get out of the barrier. So, once again, respawn, team select, team select. Respawn, switch team, switch team. Yeah, you know, it's just three simple prompts. Respawn, switch team, switch team. It's not that hard. Now, I don't think you can switch teams on solo, obviously. So, I need to come up with a method on how to switch if you're just in a playground match by yourself. But for now, um, you're going to need at least... Well, you're going to be able to get on Spawn Island solo, but I don't think you're going to be able to get off. Because I don't know the method for that. But, I suggest doing it with a duo or a squad, because obviously it's going to be more fun that way. So, um, yeah. Materials on Spawn Island, it's okay. I mean, it's not the best, but I never seem to run out of materials, and I just played a full playground match. So, um, yeah. You should be fine on materials, but I do suggest opening... Up to two or three llamas before you go there because ammo will become a problem if you're fighting on the island If you want to just explore, you know, explore your heart out, you can do whatever on the, on the island you know, Just have fun, you know, that's the whole point of this glitch I mean, it's not exploiting the actual battle royale mode in any way I don't see why I should get patched at all But, um, this has been the end of the video, I hope you guys enjoyed the video um, leave a like, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, share this video with 
um, with all your friends, you know, I'm trying to grow big on YouTube, so please help a brother out, and I'll see you guys next time, it's the one that's here, and I'm out, peace.